Welcome to the first of many LEGO favorite videos. That's right, we're covering our top five favorite current LEGO sets. But first, as always, we have a little something for you guys. So in the mail today, we received from our buddies at 3-0. Mail call, what do we got? We got wine. 30 rack. Oh, uh, yes. Can we get the glasses out? Yeah. Um, Dave sent us Tyrion Lannister from their amazing 1-6 scale line. Hear me roar, Tyrion Lannister. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's really, really cool. His likeness is on point, and I'm really excited for season five of Game of Thrones. But hey, I welcome Game of Thrones to Lego. Yeah. As a, as a huge fan of the show, I can't wait to see him return um, in season five. You are a liar. <laughs> And if fans are into Game of Thrones like we are, they can check out the Funko Game of Thrones episode that we did a little while back. That was a lot of fun. Go. Let's do some Lego, my so, Lego. So it is impossible to actually pick our top five favorites, mm. but we came up with five that we're really into right now for yep. various reasons. Uh, number five of which is Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Featured on the show many times, and they're just... They do it right. I mean, come yeah. on. They can just keep making more sets. They keep, you know, uh, improving on, you know, making the people and all the pieces. And, like, you know, the water is great. The flame effects are great. They have so many. Just combine them all together because Minecraft is infinite. That's right. And here's the thing. YouTube just revealed that the second most searched term is Minecraft. Number one being Toy Pizza. That's right. That's wrong, actually. Number oh. one was music, but yeah. with good reason, right? Everyone wants to listen to music. Everyone wants to know about Minecraft. And if you get all these Minecraft sets, who cares? Just mix them up and put them all together and you have your own Minecraft world. Number three search term, Handsome Boys of Toy Pizza. Mm. Uh, that one is actually true. Yeah. That one is absolutely true. Uh, look, Minecraft and Lego, they're a perfect match. There's arguably no better intellectual property better suited for Lego mm -hmm. than Minecraft. Number four is my personal favorite set. Now, as a kid, I always liked the, the box with five minifigures. Mm -hmm. oh. In part because I couldn't afford the larger sets. Okay. But also, you know, the, the figures are really what make these sets so great. Yeah. This is the Space Explorer set from 1994. It's set wow. number 6705. Uh -huh. And it really is important because it includes the guy from Ice Planet 2002. What um, does that mean? The gentleman right here, uh -huh has the transparent orange chainsaw, which is really one of the first oh. memes, or memes, or memes, okay. or memes. Sure, yeah, it's like, I feel like I've seen this before or something. Dude, this is the new lightsaber in Star Wars. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not familiar with the series, but I gotta say the coolest things are clear helmet, these yeah. guys have like neon green clear visors, uh -huh. and you know, this guy in particular with the uh, the silver uh, tempo prints, right. I would love to see this guy in the next Lego movie. What? That's a Spirius robot. What does Ooh. that mean? Spirius was the faction that he belongs to. Wow. Wait, so this was from something? Not no. necessarily. This is right up your alley though. Like space explorers, clear parts, shiny stuff. And it was really around the time when they first started doing different tempo prints on the faces. You yeah. know, uh, earlier than 1994, it was really just the two dots, dots and the mouth, yeah. and that's it. You know, this robot head, like you said, with the clear dome, it's, it's radical. So number three, I had to pose to the guys what were the, the signature sets that they remember. And for Nikki, it was the snow speeder, right buddy? You walk into Toys R Us, right? And you're gonna see a Lego display and chances are they have Star Wars Lego in, in that display. And now the snow speeder, according to Brick Set, that there were like eight different kinds of snow speeders. I believe I had number 7130. You know, we're lucky enough to have the newest iteration of the snow speeder here. Oh, cool. so you, can, you can take a look and tell me how it measures up and how much they've approved. This is my so first time looking at it. This is live. Was it this big? Uh, no. I think it was slightly smaller. Yeah, yeah, look, you put two guys in there. I mean, they even make a small set to like, you know, similar to the X-Wing. Let's build we did. They make a snow speeder in that scale. But this, this is so cool. Snow Trooper, Luke Skywalker, and Dak Raltar. The fact that Luke comes with a blue lightsaber and goes in the cockpit. You know, this is arguably one of the cooler vehicles in Star Wars. I, Definitely. I just love the fact that, you know, it wraps the at, -AT walkers. That's so sick. It's I almost as cool as anything in Phantom Menace. Mm. Uh, no Jar Jar, no Care Care. Well, I just love the fact that you call them at, -AT instead of at ats and I love the fact that it's only for ages 7 through 12. You know, that's I'm a very good that. point, because there is two schools of thought. I also say at, -AT. 
Uh, but I've been corrected many times that it's AT-AT Walker, so uh, I didn't know we had such a divide in the group. Let's save this for the Star Wars episode. <laughs> this is one of the newer Star Wars uh, Lego sets, and it's definitely uh, worth getting if you love Star Wars and Lego. Yeah, if you want to check out more Lego Star Wars, go ahead and go to lego.com forward slash Star Wars, and you can check all of them out. There's tons. Or click the link in the description, bro. Or just, you know, just type it in, because I'm sure you're more than capable. Number two <laughs> has to go to Pirates. It's going to Pirates in particular because they're having a relaunch this year in 2015. We're getting new pirate oh sets. I remember you talking about this in a previous episode, and you know, you were just talking about this how it was announced. And now they're actually going to start showing up. We have a Lego store a couple blocks away from us, and we are going to be there every day. Every day until okay. it comes in. Um, so, you know, I was kind of hard pressed to figure out what the best pirate set was. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to give it to 6270, the Forbidden Island. Forbidden Island, yeah. And I'm giving it to them in part because this was the only large Lego set I ever had when I was a kid. Oh, you know, yeah? This was about a 30 to $40 price point back mm -hmm. then. You know, that was well out of my budget. I actually um, robbed a bank in order wow. to get this. I just like that it comes with a blue base, you know. The, of course, the, for the water. Yeah, that's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a little island hideout. I remember mm -hmm. there was a monkey there. The monkey's great, yeah. And of course, you're going to give the monkey a sword and a musket. Yeah, that, yeah why it just not? makes sense. Love that. And, uh, you know, the black flags, you know, the striped clothes, the swords, the black hats, the cannon, it's all there. So the uh, the pirates had the bad guys, or the Imperials, you know, they were kind of like the, the Royal Navy. Yeah. And uh, I would later repurpose those guys to be my colonial marines when I would build uh, Lego out of aliens. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was uh, way too old. I believe this is the first set to introduce uh, shorter legs. Uh, yeah, this is actually, this is also the first time we've ever seen a bearded Lego figure. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, yeah. You might actually be right. You might actually be right. <laughs> On that one, you might actually be right. Pyrus is, you know, an original uh, Lego set, you know, it's not like a... A property that in like Star Wars it's just one of those original Lego sets. That's well, how it all started. For the past, you know, I don't know, ten years, the pirate Legos have been focused on the Disney films, Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean. Correct, yeah. So we're finally getting back to a I don't want to say generic, but a non licensed pirate Lego. A non Johnny Depp pirates. Yeah. Thank God. Alright, what is number one? I need to know. You know what it is. What is it? Number one was Cade's pick, and I think we all agree. Binoculars. I mean, uh. Binoca. Binoca. Bi <coughs> Bionicle. Bionicle. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Be How do you say, you say it? Bionicle. Shut up. No, I was not gonna say Barnacles. It. <laughs> it's Bionicle. Um, Bionicles are also making a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, they And are. this is going to be, you know, uh, an important year for them. And it was very hard for us to sort of figure out what the best Bionicle was. So we had to go with the one figure that we all had. Mm -hmm. Kopaka. Of Kopaka. course. Absolutely. Well, what, what was so attractive about Bionicle was that it wasn't just Lego men, right? It yeah. was just like pieces that you like constructed. And yeah. you know, there was also like a lot of animation for the commercials. Yes, the commercials. Yeah, and it just looked really, really cool. Yeah, that, that's what was so bizarre about the Bionicle like line was like, I saw the commercial and I was like, I want that. Like, I need that. Yeah. But there was like... I don't think there was a cartoon or a show that went with it. Maybe there was, but I didn't watch it. I just was like totally into the actual figures. Perfect 90s advertising. You saw it on TV, you wanted you want it, didn't it, even yeah. matter. Yeah. yeah, didn't even matter, I had all of them. So. They, they were super cool. You know, I liked that they had removable masks, and yep. then they had kind of light piping going on yeah. with their eyes. Yeah. Um, Kopaka in particular is awesome because he's kind of like a snow scheme. Yep. And he has the awesome sword arm and then his shield arm. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's just, it's great character design. It's, it's yeah. They were very... all a little bit elemental. Yeah. Uh, like there was a red kind of fire, fire and like mm -hmm. a blue kind of watery and then a green one kind of grassy. So, uh, and then there was a pumpkin one that was soup. Uh, it was pumpkin spice. Yeah, pumpkin spice. Yeah. Again, just, you know, Lego being so huge, I would love to see, you know, Bionicle in the next, you know, Lego movie. That would be interesting. I'm not sure they will do it, but they might. Come on. I don't know. They can do it. They have the money. I didn't see the first one, so. You have the money, Lego. This week's question of the week comes from Matthew.ram from Instagram, and uh, he wants to know, what got you into YouTube? Me or you? Yeah, all of us, individually. Oh, hmm. I'm not into YouTube. I, I'm a Vimeo only guy. Well, listen, I'm here under duress. I, I started YouTube in 2007 uh, with an old high school friend. You know, we made a lot of videos. Then I started my own channel that I ran for five years. Um, and now I do stuff with Cartoon Hangover and here at Frederator and do Toy Pizza. Mm -hmm. So that's like my YouTube journey. It's interesting because in school it was like, now online's the future, upload all your stuff to Vimeo, 
And hmm. clearly, that is not where the future is. I mean, that doesn't. It's in CompuServe. Possibly. No, so, but then I turned to uh, YouTube to start uploading stuff to YouTube, and like Kate, I landed a job here at Frederick Cartoon Hangover, and all of our content is on YouTube. So. Uh, what got me into YouTube is really nobody else would do it. You know, for a long time I kept suggesting to you guys and to Frederator, it needs to be a toy channel, there needs to be some somebody sort of doing something in that in that avenue. And I actually introduced a bunch of different people that had toy channels or that had news sites and tried to get something going. I had no interest whatsoever in hosting or mm. doing this, but I wanted to sort of elevate other other people's games and nobody came through. Nobody wanted to do it, nobody wanted to take the jump or come into the network or sort of like learn the best practices so uh, you know part of the reason I'm here is because there was nobody else to service yeah, this. you had suckered into it. Well what they always say is you know when you got want something done you gotta do it yourself right? That's right. I've never heard that phrase. Oh okay. Alright so thank you for checking out our Lego packed episode and look forward to more Lego on Toy Pizza. Yeah we gotta hear from you guys what are your top five favorite sets Currently. And what other ones do we need to cover next time we uh, do a Lego episode? Yeah, let us know. And uh, hit us up on Facebook. Uh, Toy, Toy Pizza? Yep. Tumblr? My AOL member page. AOL member page. Uh, uh, Keyword, we... Toy Pizza. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Uh, Instagram is going really well for us. Uh, we really enjoy posting pictures. Yeah. Uh, we got a huge hashtag over there on Toy Pizza. Uh, hashtag Toy Pizza. It's super simple. Yeah. Um, you know, post your pictures. Hashtag Chocolate Hoffman. Bring it back. Bring it back. You're bringing it back. Um, so there's really nothing I love to say, but it's out. out.